Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to uh, the Blindwood Turners workshop. I'm Christopher Fisher, RPT. Oh, it's very cool to say that. Uh, and what we're doing today is something pretty cool, and I have been commissioned to turn a pair of drumsticks. Uh, and I hope you're watching this, Jay. Uh, Mr. Jay Osmond of the Osmonds, the drummer of the Osmonds. How cool is that? If you don't know who the Osmonds are or you're a little young, uh, ask your mum and dad. Uh, but obviously, because we're, you know, of that age now, we, we know who the Osmonds are. They were around when we were kids. Uh, and at the time, I think it's fair to say, they were the biggest, you know, the original boy band, I think. You might not thank me for that term, but I guess they were the original boy band. Massively successful, still touring, still entertaining hundreds of thousands of people all around the world. So, yes, Jay, I'm going to make you a pair of custom drumsticks, uh, all without being sighted, which is pretty cool. So, I'm going to do it, my friend, all with touch and a picture in my mind. Uh, and I've got a little set of drumsticks to work for. These are the same. 5A is what you use. So we're going to get the camera repositioned and we're going to get started. So catch you in a second. Okay, so I'm just going to true this ash stock uh, up a little better. Again, find my starting position. Start gently at this end. Trimming it up. Gently. Working down the hill, it's a long, long piece of wood, uh, unsupported, uh, so we'll just take our time and I'll get this done. So I'll be back when this is trued up. Okay, so I've got it uh, just trued up a little bit, and then the next step is uh, holding the not sacrificial drumstick but the the drumstick which form I'm going to follow and I'm just feeling here now where it goes from a cylinder and begins to taper so it's about there so I'm just going to put my first little groove and then what I have also done is with these calipers here I have set these just a bit wider than the finished diameter of these sticks. So what I'm going to do now is right pretty much from the tail, uh, sorry, the, what will be the tail end of the drumstick near the chuck. I'm going to use my parting tool and put a series of grooves all the way along until I hit this groove. And then from that groove, I will be adjusting and resetting the calipers to get uh, the form of the taper as best I can. So what I need to do is move to this end. Just feel for where I need to start. So that popped over there nicely. So I'll do a couple more on camera and then. Uh, you can join me when I've done the entire length. So I'll just do one more, holding it in place, get my position. Now 
And there you have it. So I'm going to do this all the way along to this groove. Uh, and I'll, I'll catch up with you then. Okay, so I've got uh, some grooves laid in with the parting tool. Uh, and I was just taking my time because there was quite a lot of vibration. Uh, but it's unsupported. So we're going to just... this end, start working back towards the headstock in the I mean, these are going to be slightly different because they're handmade. These are turned out by the tens of thousands on a computer control machine. But, you know, they're going to be as near as damn it. Okay, everybody, so I've got this, the, uh, the drumstick, sanded now up to 240 because I'm going to apply Yorkshire grit and polish. So it's feeling lovely. It's just the very tip of the drumstick here now. It's still a bit bulbous. So I'm just going to very carefully just remove uh, a bit more material. Uh, and then I can uh, seal it. So if I just get this in the right position, sneak up on it. Need a bit more of this. Just a bit more. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just sand this uh, tip up a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to seal it 
uh, and Yorkshire Grit and polish it. So again, you know how to do that. Uh, so I'll be back in literally just a couple of minutes. Okay folks, so discretion's a better part of valour. Uh, and I'm just going to... Cut this off at that end. So what I'm going to do now is just roll those ends over on the uh, disc sander uh, and then I'll be back. bit of hand sanding to finish so I'll be back in a couple of minutes when it will be completed okay so that's the first drumstick made for Jay Osmond it's uh, ash this one uh, and uh, it feels absolutely amazing it's got a, a wooden tip obviously Whereas the ones that I'd got to reference was a nylon tip, uh, but this is uh, solid ash all the way from front to back. Feels amazing. So there you go. I'm going to do the other one now, exactly the same. And when that's done, uh, I'll just finish up and show you both of them together. So until that point, I better crack on. Okay, everybody, uh, I finally finished now. The left hand one is the one that I've turned after lunch and this is the one I turned this morning. So uh, yeah, they're both identical length, uh, made out of ash, uh, they feel really good, really smooth, uh, same procedure as I would do with anything else, uh, sanded and sealed and Yorkshire gritted and everything like that. Uh, the tips are, well, I can hear it raining again. The tips are ever so slightly different, but uh, I'm pleased with how they feel considering I can't see what the tips obviously look like. Uh, so, yeah, I'm very pleased. I think they're a beautiful pair of drumsticks. First time I've ever turned drumsticks. Uh, a bit challenging because obviously they have the uh, heebie jeebie wobbly wobblies on because uh, it's quite a long, thin turn that uh, unsupported but just took me time uh, and uh, went slow and held the sticks around the back whilst I was shaping so uh, thank you very much these are destined uh, to go to the engravers now to get engraved with Jay Osmond's name uh, and then they can be sent to the woman that knows the Osmonds because she's meeting them at the end of August uh, so there you have it. When you watch this video, it is the end of August. <laughs> uh, we're just at the start of it as well, uh, but it's not like getting it uh, done quick so they can go to the engravers. So, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Uh, and keep on turning, everybody. So, until the next time, bye.